Good afternoon from Okinawa, Japan, home of Okisubis. Today we're going to be doing two videos using this car and it's going to be talking about the green test mode connectors and the black reading connectors. And this is going to apply for any version 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. If you have a GC8, this is how you're going to do some diagnostics and also read your check engine lights. Okay, so for the black read connectors we use them to diagnose check engine lights so we call them the diagnostic connectors all the time but if you go underneath your dash right here there's usually a cover right here we've removed it so it's kind of easier for you guys to see but you got to kind of look around and you're going to see two of them two black one uh, two black ones and two green ones uh, we'll talk about the green ones in another video but right now the black ones right here and uh, if you see these unplugged don't think that you unplug them on accident this is uh they're supposed to be unplugged unless you're using them and what you do is you just plug them in just like that you just get them plugged in just like that and it doesn't matter if you had a temporary check engine light as long as you didn't remove the negative terminal or positive terminal from the battery it should the ecu should still have it memorized um, but what we're going to do now is we will go ahead and get a, a better angle of the check engine light and then we'll be able to kind of show you how it flashes and uh, let you know how it's going, how you can actually count the actual flashes to know what check engine light is uh, or what's the issue with your engine. All right, so once you have the black connectors on the bottom plugged in, you just go ahead and put it on ignition on and you can see one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, so that's 31. So there's three check engine lights on this right here. The first one is 22, the second is 24, and then the next one is, is 31. That should be knock sensor, throttle position sensor, and your idle air control valve. We'll actually go ahead and put these numbers in the actual uh, link so you'll know which ones it is but basically the long one so if it goes one two that's 20 if it goes one two three you're gonna start three and then the next lights if it's one two it's gonna be two so uh, knock sensor for example is 22 so you're gonna see it go one two two long flashes and then two quick flashes and then it'll go into another one if it does. We already knew that this car had three check engine lights. Uh, it's just been sitting for a long time. We ended up doing uh, paint on the car. And uh, it's just one of those things. We go through the car, we check the check engine lights, and whatever's there, we go ahead and uh, fix it. If you have any other questions regarding check engine lights, these ones right here, if you have a check engine light or if you had a check engine light, is a great way to test and find out what exactly is the problem. The ECU is going to do the diagnosing for you. Um, so if you have a check engine light, let the ECU do its job. You don't have to ask us. Literally just go ahead and, and plug up those connectors, put on an ignition on, and uh, let the ECU tell you what exactly wrong with the, with the, job, uh, with the actual uh, car. And if you have any other specific questions about uh, could it be this, could it be that, feel free to, to contact us. But uh, if you have a check engine light, the first thing we're going to ask you is do you know what the code is for? And then we're going to send you a link to this video so you know how to do it. 